Alright, so I just want to go through some code here that will allow us to send an email to a recipient, maybe a company, right? And this email will be sent via a contact form. So this is pretty much sending email via contact form. So I'm going to run the contact form. Alright, let me show you the contact form. Right, my server is already running. Let me stop this and go again. All right, so this is our contact form. Now we want to use this contact form to send an email, or if you are the company, you know, you want to use this contact form to get feedback or to have your customers or clients communicate with you. All right, so not to make this video too long, I just want to look at the code and also remind persons of how to set up their local OS to send email from local OS because that's what we're doing here. I am using local OS versus having this up on a live server. So just to quickly remind you of something, if you're going to be sending email using local OS, then we can use Gmail as our SMTP server, all right? So for me, what I did is I went into my PHP INI file and I went to the mail function section of that file and I added these values. Next, I went into my sendmail.ini file and I added these values. I did a previous video that did a walkthrough of how to set up these and even how to generate an app password from Gmail. So you can just watch that video to get a better understanding of how to configure your local host for sending email. All right, so our focus here is on this particular demo where we want to send email via a contact form. All right, so Pretty standard, we created the contact form using our HTML components, added some bootstrap to it. You can update this bootstrap, I'm using that older version here if you notice, so you can update this bootstrap. I am also using some customized CSS, all right, I can make this CSS and this PHP code available to you. That's not a problem. All right, so we have our form. Now the important part, the important aspect is the PHP portion here, right? Now, I want to add the email address to which I want the email to, to, to be sent to from the contact form. So I'm going to use this email address here. Let me just say jjamwill, all right? So I wanted to get to this particular email address and my from address is the one that I would have used here in my php.ini file. So I'm going to add that now. All right, so this from address has been added. All right, so again, I have the sender that will be collected from here. So your email, I have the recipient. This is the person, the company or the organization where the email is going to. There is a subject and a message which will be collected from the form here. And then I have my header, which is optional when you are sending emails in PHP. You don't have to create an header variable, but I usually do. And this is where the email is, is coming from. This is basically the server or the, um, the account that we are using to send the email again. It is the one that I would have placed here in my php.ini file. 
right so i have this formatted message here in the message it will have the the full message the full message will have the user message as well as the email address that message is coming from all right next we have a bit of if statement here or an if condition that will be checking if these things here are empty if they are empty then it will give us this message all right so it will throw an alert or it will give us an, a message alerting us that all inputs are required now if these fields are not empty then it will attempt to send the email right um, in my previous video as well where i looked at setting up your local was for sending email i would have done a breakdown of the mail function again for the mail function you must state a to address or a recipient address the subject and the message those three things are required and then we can add additional parameter values here in this case i am adding the header which is in our case the from address which is not necessary because it would be in the php.ini configuration file anyway all right now once we attempt to send the email if it was sent successfully then this message will be displayed your email was successfully sent and if for any reason something went wrong where the email cannot be sent then this alert will be displayed all right so the only thing that is left to do is to test our application to see if it actually um, send the email for us all right so if i I'm on my contact form and I click send and no input then we'll get this alert all right so let me just place an email address here basically where it's coming from subject let's say registration and let's say course registration all right, let's click on send and see if our email will be sent. All right, so as you can see, our email was sent successfully to our recipient, which is this email address here. So I'm just going to check that email address now just to see if I got the email. All right, and it says registration, which was our subject. Click on that, and it was sent. So it is saying course registration, and it told me as well who the email came from. All right, so it was just recently sent. All right, so the full message part here, it gives us the actual message and the sender, which is what we got here right so this is a simple way in which we can utilize php to send email from our contact form you know just simply build a normal contact form and then add the necessary php code to it so as you can see it's just a regular html form all right i was careful to set the action to the file itself where the script is running from and my method is post apart from that i just added some bootstrap and that is basically it as i said i will make the code for this available for persons who are interested and also if you are not sure how to configure PHP to send email from local OS, then just watch the video that I did 
previous to this one or prior to this one um, we'll show you how to how to set up your your local host for sending email all right that is basically it any questions you can ask and i will try to answer them as best as possible all right